Now, if there's one thing that allows you to create your stories in an engaging way, allowing your audience to follow through, is creating consistent characters for your AI images. And in this video, I want to show you how to create consistent characters for your AI images using Leonardo. And she will stick around to the end because I'm also going to show you some really cool things that you can do with your AI images. Let's get started. So the first step is for you to create an account with Leonardo. So you can use the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can search for it in the Google search bar and once you find it, it's going to be this one here. You're just going to click on it and it's going to open for you the Leonardo website. So to get started, you're just going to click on this get started. But if you already have an account, you can click on the launch app and it's going to automatically sign you in. So once you're signed in, this is going to be your home page here. And I want to mention something really important while we're still here. If you're on the free version, you're going to get about 150 credits, which are going to reset, I think, every 24 hours. But if you're on the paid version, then you're going to get more credits so for you to create consistent characters using Leonardo you have to be on the paid version but if you just want to create any other normal characters then you can continue using the free plan so these are the different plans that we have for Leonardo here and you can either pay monthly or annually if you do annually then you're going to get some savings so this is our home page here and we're going to go to this image creation here this is where we're going to be creating our characters so I want to do this step by step so that you're able to follow along so up here you can see the prompt area this is where we're going to put in our prompt or the description of what it is that we want to create so the first thing that we're going to do is to create a character and if we like the character then we can decide to create other consistent characters using that particular one that we like so i'm going to enter in a prompt here my prompt is a very beautiful african woman seated on an armchair wearing a red kente pattern dress yeah so it's a very simple prompt in case you want a more detailed prompt then you can use this magic button here so if i click on it you can see that it gives us options for having a new random prompt okay so you can have a new random prompt or you can improve the prompt so if i click on that improve the prompt then you can see that it has made our prompt more detailed yeah so this is not what we had initially we can use this one and then if you go further down you can see that you can edit with ai the prompt that you have or you can even describe with ai now what this means is that perhaps you had an image but you don't know the prompt to create that image you can use this particular uh, button to do that so if you click on it it's going to ask you to upload an image and then it's going to describe that image for you using a prompt and you can use that prompt to create similar images so we're going to generate ours here so you just click on generate and remember this one is the one that AI has given us an improved prompt so let's see what it gives us so we're going to wait around maybe 20 seconds and then we're going to have our images yeah so you can see the images that we have here let's have a look at them so this is the first one yeah and that's the second one that's the third one that's the fourth one okay so that is how you can create images now in this left panel here i just want to mention a few things that will help you when you're creating your images number one is this preset here so if you click on this drop down arrow here you can see the different presets that you have you have uh, leonardo phoenix which is i think is the new one you have anime you have this one that we're using right now we have concept art now this is going to vary depending on the kind of image that you would like to create or the kind of feel that you're looking for your images to have so you can play around with those ones i'm just going to stick to this one and then we also have a preset style here you can decide on the style that you want for your images and there are so many to choose from i'm just going to leave it as portrait we also have contrast here i'll leave it as medium and then we have the generation mode and then here you also have the image dimensions so this is going to be guided by the kind of image that you want to create or what you want to use the image for and then we also have the number of images so why it gave us four is because this had been set to four here so we also have other different settings here so i don't want to go really deep into them so that you don't get confused let's go back to creating our images so i'm going to remove this prompt here and just use the simple one that i had initially let's click on generate so that we are able to get our character yeah so again you just wait for a few seconds and then you're just going to get your images remember we have said that it is giving us four images because it has been set to that yeah so we have other different images here so let's look at this one okay so we have that yeah we have this one she isn't really sitting on the chair but we are looking at her face that is what we are interested in and then we have that one we also have that one okay i think that's the last one 
okay so i think i liked this second one here so now we want to start creating the consistent characters that i told you about so what you do you come to this section here click on that button here and then we have these different options here so the one we are interested right now is on the character reference okay so we are going to click on that and then it's going to ask us what we want to reference as our character so we're going to go to our generations because that is what we have just created we have agreed to use i think this one here so you just click on it click on confirm okay so this is the character you can see our prompt has her here so this is uh, the character and you see the prompt is the same a very beautiful african woman seated on an armchair wearing a red kente pattern dress so here i can have something different happening here so i could say that now the woman is standing standing so i can have her standing now and then we can generate to see what we get from this so click on generate remember now we are referencing this particular image here yeah so that is our character reference and by the way if you're enjoying the video ensure you like it and subscribe to the channel it really helps with the algorithm let's go on to the next character okay so now we have different images yeah so we have this one okay so let's first of all look at the one we were referencing just so that we see whether it looks like her so we were referencing this one yeah so remember this is the lady so here it still looks like her actually she just has on um, a different uh, kind of makeup you can see it is the same lady there yeah you can see she's the same one there and she's the same one there and she's the same one there yeah so that is the power of using an image to reference the character so you can see it's the same lady over and over again she's just having on uh different things so any of these images then you can use it in different parts of telling your story now i want us to do something really interesting here because if you go back here we have another option here that says content reference now what content reference means is that i can give the ai a particular content or content Context in which to create the image for example if I click on it now I can now then go look for an image of somebody doing something and then I can ask the AI to create an image with consistent characters doing that particular thing that is in the new content reference image so I want to use this image here so I'll click on it yeah and if you don't have the image already uploaded here you can always use this to upload the image maybe from your device so I'm going to click on confirm here yeah so if i go back now you can see we have character reference character reference we said is that this particular lady who looks like this this is what that character reference means now we have added content reference okay so now we have these two on and i'm going to click on generate okay so now it is important for you to see what happens here because i think that this is really fascinating that we can be able to do this with ai so just wait for a few seconds for each complete generating the images for us yeah so one of the other benefits of you being on the paid version apart from creating consistent characters is that you can be able to create many images over and over again until you find the particular one that you'd like to use and if we look at this now we have our images generated for us yeah so the first thing i want you to notice is that the lady is now lifting both of her hands just like uh you have it on this content reference image so i didn't specify in my prompt that i wanted her to hold her phone but because in this image she's holding the phone there you can see that ai has assumed that i would like for that to continue being the case so let me click on this image here yeah so that is what she looks like now also see that in the image that we are referencing she has crossed her legs well seated and in the images that we have she's also crossing her legs well seated yeah so i thought this is extremely fascinating yeah so it's not perfect because again this is ai and we have seen uh that with ai the fingers uh, and the hands usually have a bit of distortion but you can play around uh with your prompt to ensure that that does not happen so we have that one we have her again here now she has white hair you can see the hands have distorted quite a bit again we have this one and then we have the final one here yeah so i thought that that is really interesting so let's use a different pose just to see whether this was luck so we will go to the content reference again and again i'm going to upload this from something that i previously had so we can use this one so just open it yeah and now that is going to be our new content reference image okay so you can see the lady here 
this is what we are now using so we're going to click on generate so that we can see what it gives us now so now we have our images here yeah you can see now the lady is standing and she's doing the posture uh, that we have you can see it is the same lady yeah let's go to the next one that's another one there yeah you can see another one there and that one there yeah, so you can see it's the same lady over and over again. You can use this maybe to tell your African stories. If you're doing like an African stories video, you can use the feature to even do children's storybooks. Like there's so much that you can be able to do with this one feature. Now let me show you one last thing here. Yeah, while we're still on this uh, prompt area here, if you click again on this, we saw there were three things. So you had style reference. We have done character reference. We have also done content reference. Let's do style reference, okay? So style reference is going to create your image in a particular style that you have chosen. So for this one, I'm going to use this particular one here. I had created it previously. You can see that that image has a different kind of style. That is what we want. So we want the lady to be, uh, this lady to be standing like that. And then you have this happening around her. Okay. So you can use the three of them together, or you can decide on which ones you'd like to use for the particular images that you want to create. So let's see what it gives us here. Okay. So now we have our image here. So you notice that we had these sort of colors, um, you know, that theme happening in this style image here so let's see what it gives us for that you can see it is the same lady it's just that the makeup is changing a little bit but you can see the new colors have sort of been applied into our image if I click on that, you can see uh, the lady is um, having the same colors around her. Now, something really cool that I want you to also note is that this lady that we use, her eyes were sort of closed or slightly opened. And that is what the AI has sort of uh, done for these images. You can see that the eyes are sort of having that very slight opening. So let's see this other one here. This is the third one. Yeah, so you can see it looks pretty similar. So that is how to create consistent characters using Leonardo. Now something else that you can do is to add motion onto your images. So for that, you're just going to go back to the home page here. And then here you have AI tools. So we're going to go to the one that says motion. Yeah, and then we're going to select an image. So this is going to allow you to create our images, whether from your uploads or your generations. Our generations are what we've just been creating right now. So we have many to choose from. So you could choose um, any of that or you can select from your collections. You can also use images from the community feed or even the follower feed. Okay, so what I want us to use is our generations here. So I'm just going to scroll down and see any of the photos that we can use. Okay, so I like this photo here. And then we are going to click on confirm and then you can select your motion strength here. I'm just going to leave it at five and then we're going to click on generate. Okay. So it's going to tell us view your video generation status on the AI gen page or in the personal feed when complete. So we'll just click on view generation. You can see it creating here. So since it's a video, it might take just a little bit longer, but I promise you it's going to be totally worth it. Yeah. So we have the video here. Let's watch it. So it's about four seconds and we can see the lady is sort of moving. Her body is moving. We can see a bit of movement on her shoulders and also her dress. Uh, you can see a bit of blinking also in her eyes there. The pattern behind her is also moving. So there's quite a bit of motion happening in this video. And I think you'd be able to create really awesome stories just using this motion feature. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be creating more tutorials on how you can be able to use Leonardo. So ensure you're subscribed for that. In the meantime, have a good one. My name is Paris and I'll catch you on the next one.